Hey guys, how's it going? iPod Touch helping here, and today I'm going to be doing sort of a comparison between the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPod Touch 2nd generation. Now, I would like to do this against the 3rd generation, but I do not have one. So uh, this is going to be a quick comparison, just showing you guys the two different iPods. It's going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys the outside, and I'm going to be showing you guys the speed difference in each of these. So, um... If we look over here on the side, we notice that the first difference between the two is the volume rocker. So if you look over here on the right, we have one button. Well, it's two buttons, but it's connected. And over here, we have separated buttons for the volume. And the iPod Touch 4th generation is skinnier too. You can notice that, uh, especially when you have it in your hand. So that's definitely a big difference. And if we look on the back, um, the iPod Touch 4th generation is much uh flatter than the iPod Touch second generation. These are both 8 gigabyte models and of course you guys know that the, this iPod has the camera and over here it doesn't. So those are sort of some of the main features. Another one is over here on the bottom. If you look, the right one does not have a little grill for the speaker but the left iPod does. So pretty much that's the only exterior difference. There are a few other things like the little standby and power button up here. It is on the right on the iPod Touch 4th generation and on the left on the 2nd generation. But now let's get into the iOS. So here we are on both iPods. As you guys can tell, this one is jailbroken and this one isn't. So the 4th generation obviously does not have a jailbreak yet. But I mean, the first thing you do notice on the home screen is we've got FaceTime, Game Center, and the camera on the iPod Touch 4th generation. Those are all really good features that it's really too bad that this iPod doesn't have it, but then again, I mean, this did just come out and uh, camera and FaceTime would not be possible on the other iPods. But Game Center will be available for the iPod Touch second generation and third generation when it when the new firmware does come out. I'm running 4.2 over here and 4.0 on the right. So first things off, uh, I'm gonna go to a website right now. Let's just open up the internet browsers here. And here we go. They're both on helping with tech, actually. Kind of actually surprising. But now we'll both go to a website. On each of them, we'll go to Mod My Eye. So I have typed in Mod My Eye on each of these iPods, and I'll try to click Go at the exact same time, and uh, we'll see which one is faster. So it looks like I clicked it pretty close to the same time in the iPod Touch 4th generation is much faster and as you can tell it is already done ready to scroll through it and everything and the iPod Touch 2nd generation is still loading and it looks like it's going to take quite a bit more time actually so that's a quick comparison of the internet browser so they both are uh, the iPod Touch is a little bit slower on the right but um, the left one is definitely much faster as you can tell even closing apps is much faster on the iPod Touch 4th generation versus the iPod Touch 2G so another thing I'm going to try to open is um, is a game that is on both of the iPods. So I'm going to be opening up Ninjump and seeing which one loads up faster and just, uh, you know, see the comparison. And then I'll show you guys the different displays. I'll show you guys Retina display versus the just normal display on the iPod Touch 2G. So we'll open up Ninjump here. There we go. As you can tell, the left one does look a little nicer and it does load quite a bit faster. I'm really surprised how slow the second generation is now. Um, there's quite a big difference and uh, it's really kind of disappointing. Now looking at these two, I mean the one on the left looks so clear. And I'm going to turn the music down here, the volume, there we go. And the one on the right is still loading. I do not know what's going on with it, but man. This really makes me appreciate my fast 4G. So this is a quick comparison again of opening a game. And again, it's taking a long time to load. So now I'm going to try to show you guys the difference between Retina display over here on the left and just the normal display that the iPod Touch 2G and 3G have. Um, Retina display really does enhance the colors. If you look on the left, it is much darker. The blacks are much darker and the whites are much brighter. And uh, over here on the right, it's hard to tell from you guys, but it is does look a little bit yellow to me over on the right side. Um, the white looks a little bit yellow compared to over here on the fourth generation iPod. So that's sort of my 
look at it and if you look at the writing I mean I'm not sure if you guys can tell but there's a huge difference when I hold them together this these this writing over here almost looks gray to me now and the writing over here on the left looks really nice really crisp and black I don't see any pixels as I do over here on the right iPod touch second generation and of course if you look up here at the top both of these uh, blues are different. The one on the left does look much nicer to me. And uh, overall, you could really tell the difference in retina display versus just a normal display on the older iPods. So guys, this is my really quick comparison for you guys of the two iPods. Hopefully you guys did like this video. Um, this was requested on this channel. So I decided, you know what, why not make this video? I'm sort of interested to see which ones are faster. Um, maybe the jailbreak does have a little bit of a Maybe it is slowing like down the iPod Touch 2G a little bit, but really you guys can tell that the iPod Touch 4th generation is much faster as it has the A4 processor and much better features on it. And of course, one last thing that I forgot to talk about on the front is of course the iPod has a camera on the front on the 4th generation, but uh, yeah, didn't miss too much guys. This was iPod Touch helping. Hopefully you guys did like this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Before I catch you guys later, check out my other video if you guys missed it. If you guys missed my last review of the iPod Touch 4th generation, make sure you check that out. And also, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash itouchhelping. And last but not least, guys, please subscribe to my other channel. I really do appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for doing all your rating, your comments, and your subscribing. And please give this video a nice thumbs up. That really helps me out, guys. I really do appreciate when you do that. But anyways, guys. That's all for now, and I'll catch you guys later. If you have any video requests, feel free to leave it in the video comments below. I'm out.